you may have found yourself rotting in bed watching these viral ball bouncing videos. This is called bed rotting. Staying in bed for days on end, binging Netflix, TikTok, Instagram, and so on. And I'm no exception to this. Well, today, you can rot a little longer with me and see how these videos are created. First step, open your favorite code editor and install some Python packages that do most of the work for you and draw a circle. Uh, that, wait, that didn't work. Okay, there you go, a circle. And guess what now? Another circle. Now we need to make this ball react to gravity. It's really easy, it's only three lines of code. And I don't want this to be a physics lesson, but let's learn a little bit of knowledge. I'll call this rot knowledge. Knowledge that you learn during bed rot that you will forget the next day, but you will remember two years later when you no longer need the information. So in simple terms, gravity on Earth causes objects with mass to accelerate downwards at roughly 9.8 meters per second squared. So if you jump off a cliff into water, of course, every second, your downward speed increases by 9.8 meters per second. You speed up until a force acts upon you in the opposite direction, the water. And that's where these three lines of code comes from. However, the ball just phased through the other one. Technically, that is possible in real life, but the chances are astronomically small, and I'm just not going to get into quantum physics in this. The trickiest part is detecting collisions and changing the velocities accordingly. I did this in roughly 30 minutes. It was terrible code. I'm embarrassed of it, so I won't even show it here. But after the physics is implemented, you can make things happen when two balls collide just like when I jump. Anyways, we can spawn another ball on collision, change the color, and even shrink the outer ball. There you go. I now have the attention of a few people. Probably only one, or I don't even know how many of you are watching. Doesn't really matter. But now we just have to add some sound effects and that's it. I have a lot of cool projects to show you guys. And if you rotted with me in bed this far, might as well subscribe.